Migrants continue to illegally pour across our southern border by the hundreds of thousands. And what is President Biden doing about it? Awarding a left-wing group $171 million to help migrants avoid deportation. Obviously. The Vera Institute of Justice reportedly receiving a health and human services contract to provide legal assistance to unaccompanied minors. But does anybody in the White House think this will deter border crossings? Here with me now is Arizona Attorney General Mark Burnovich. Hey, man. Jimmy F., what's up? Now, you're up, man. It's great to see you, my man. I, I always tell people I consider you. you the Joe Walsh of attorney generals because Joe Walsh, a lot of people consider to be the guy who made the Eagles rock. And you have, to your credit, made attorney generals rock on a national level. But let me ask you this. Is the Life's front been man good so far. <laughs> there it is, a good Eagles tag. So as the front <laughs> man of a band that probably played a lot of bars on its way up, has Joe Biden, when it comes to the border, technically turned our country into that college bar that doesn't check IDs? Everybody knows they can get in, so they're just flocking here. Yes, and with the equivalent of the broken urinal and puke all over the bathroom floor. <laughs> I mean, look, you know, you know, Jimmy, I'm a first-generation American. People want to come to this country because the rule of law means something. We're not founded on a common religion or a common ethnic identity. It's all about our rights come from our creator, and everyone is treated equally under the law. And what Joe Biden is doing is he is shredding the Constitution. He's dramatically, you know, allowing millions of people to legally enter the country. And we're seeing the price of fentanyl, fentanyl fall dramatically because so many drugs are pouring across our southern border. Well, now, you, may, you mentioned fentanyl, and I wanted to bring this up because there's this conflation amongst Democrats that somehow securing our border is an act of racism. But is it not true that the fentanyl pouring into this country is harming people of every race? A absolutely. I mean, last year we lost almost twice as many people that were killed during the Vietnam War just in one year as a result of these drug, the drug overdose, drug overdoses and all the drugs flowing into our country. And obviously drugs, it's poison and it knows no color, it knows no ethnic boundaries, it knows no neighborhood. In fact, uh, one of my friends, a cardiologist in Scottsdale, was just telling me, one of the top cardiologists in the country, that last weekend he saw 30 patients. Ten of them uh, were uh, teenagers or people in their early 20s that have permanent heart damage. Some of them have permanent brain damage as a result of fentanyl overdoses. And, and that's the thing that's killing me. On some level, I almost feel like we should be referring to them more commonly as poisonings because in a lot of these instances, they're taking a recreational amount of drugs. These are not, you know, traditionally an overdose would be you did a bunch of drugs for days and days and it caught up to you. A lot of these are first time users or someone popped an Adderall to write a term paper in college. Do you almost think on some level we'd help uh, parents more if we did refer to them as poisonings? We should. We should. And we need to start calling them what they are. China is sending in the precursor chemicals into Mexico, and then the cartels are making billions and billions of dollars shipping that poison into our country. And the problem is, anybody that's got a kid or knows a young, a young person is that, you know, you may be at a party and someone may slip you something, or we saw what happened to those Army football players in Florida. They thought they were taking something, and someone that was trying to resuscitate somebody else overdose because fentanyl is so toxic. It's literally an elephant tranquilizer. That's ins that is like completely insane. But when I hear a story like the government is giving a liberal activist group money to help people avoid deportation, my immediate takeaway, as insane as that sounds, is I was shocked to know Biden's deporting anybody. Is that even a thing? <laughs> it's not. You know, he's incentivized and decriminalized it. And we're talking about these are our taxpayer dollars. This isn't yeah. stuff that, you know, that, that comes out of thin air. You, I, anybody that pays taxes is paying for this because Joe Biden cares more about Central America than Middle America. And I just want to put it in context. That's enough money to buy 500 uh, Hunter Biden paintings or pay off AOC's <laughs> weekend bar tab. So we're talking <laughs> real money here. Hey, if you think the price of a Hunter Biden painting is high, you should meet the painter. Let me throw oh, this one. <laughs> hey, good night. Let me throw one more at you then. Joe Biden did yep. run on unity. Is this the moment he should just appoint Donald Trump the border czar, bring the country together and maybe solve the problem? Well, Joe Biden ran as a middle of the road uh, American and he has put us on the highway to hell. Um, and so I think that's. For our musical references, that's in a nutshell, Jimmy. Nobody has more range than you. We opened on the Eagles. We closed on ACDC. That takes, that takes big balls, Brnovich. 
<laughs> I'm going to take it to the limit one more time. <laughs> there he goes. The great Mark Burnovich. Thank you, my man.